Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Earlier this month, scientists presented evidence at the annual meeting of the American Geophysical Union for an enormous pyramid-like structure in Indonesia, hidden for thousands of years. It is located atop Gunung Padang or Mount Padang in West Java, where there is an ancient archaeological site with rows of stone pillars. But this isn't the enigma. Some scientists claim that the sloping hill underneath isn't a natural rocky landscape, but is actually a man-made pyramidal structure. Most of you may already know that this isn't actually a new discovery, and many researchers have claimed that Gunung Padang is a pyramidal structure for many, many years. But now, the hypothesis has broken into the mainstream media for the first time. Andang Bachia, a geologist from Indonesia who has supervised core drilling and soil analysis, said, What is previously seen is just surface building. It's going down, and it's a huge structure. Superficially, the buried structure does resemble a pyramid, but it differs from similar ones built by the Maya in Central and South America, said the lead project researcher and senior scientist from the Indonesian Institute of Sciences, Danny Hillman Natawijaja. Maya pyramids are symmetrical, whilst this one is elongated, with what appears to be a half circle in the front, giving it a unique form. Before work began, he, like many others, noted that the hill is not like the surrounding topography. So a number of geophysical techniques were undertaken, including ground-penetrating radar surveys, X-ray tomography, 2D and 3D imaging, core drilling and excavations. And what they apparently uncovered, although the full extent of the data has not yet been released, were several layers of a sizable structure spread over an area of around 150,000 square metres, and built up over millennia. Each layer seemed to represent a different period of history. At the very top of the hill are pillars of basalt rock framing step terraces, with other arrangements of rock columns arranged to form walls, paths and open spaces. This top layer is about 3,000 to 3,500 years old. The basalt pillars are all natural, they are not cut, but their arrangement is certainly man-made. Underneath the surface to a depth of 3 meters is a second layer of similar rock columns, believed to be 7,500 to 7,300 years old. The third layer extended 15 meters below the surface and is more than 9,000 years old, and many believe it could date back to 28,000 years ago. The most tantalizing thing about this site though is that the team have detected multiple unexplored cavities within the hill. Today, in the 21st century, the locals look at this site as sacred, and at the summit people pray and meditate, and Hillman said it may have had this same use for thousands of years, but of course this is mere speculation. The research is predictably controversial, and it is not the first time that the claim that the hill is a pyramid has been made. Hillman claims that the three parts of the pyramid are built in the crater of an extinct volcano, and he believes the cavities within the structure may be hidden rooms. Since it was discovered in 1914, the Gunung Padang Mound has been regarded by many as being the largest of several ancient megalithic sites in Indonesia, but it's controversial because 99% of university professors of archaeology and geology are in total agreement that this site is a political hoax and that the site is certainly not man-made. Dr. Hillman asserts that Gunung Padang predates the next oldest pyramid in the world by many thousands of years, and said in a recent interview, it's crazy, but it's data, when defending his claims. Michael Bacillard, a journalist for the Sydney Morning Herald, has investigated the claims and says that they have been adopted by the government as a kind of veiled nationalistic quest. Former President Udiono was apparently so impressed with Hillman's early dating that he appointed a government task force to investigate further, describing the work as a task of history and of important value for humanity. Andy Arif, a politician in the President's Democratic Party, is a driving force behind the new project. The claims, if true, do of course put Indonesia on the map as being home to one of the oldest megalithic sites in the world, if not the oldest, 
but respected volcanologist Sutikno Bronto said, Danny Hillman is not a volcanologist, I am. Gunung Padang is simply the neck of a nearby volcano, not an ancient pyramid. Bronto's view is shared by the respected experts and they all insist that there is nothing here and that it is all an illusion to keep people in jobs and to eventually generate tourism. Bronto also says that carbon dated cement between the stones is not man made cement at all, but it is an obvious byproduct of a natural weathering process. Apparently, the whole site is easily explained by natural forces. A sceptical archaeologist who remained anonymous when talking to the Sydney Morning Herald said that in the Poron Cave in Padalariang, 45 kilometers from Ganung Padang, bone tools were discovered which dated back to around 7000 BC. So, if bone tools were being used in 7000 BC, this archaeologist questioned how people from 20,000 BC had the technologies to build a pyramid. The unnamed archaeologist continued and said that Hillman found something, carbon dated it, and then created a civilization around it to explain his findings. To date, 34 Indonesian scientists, including leading archaeologists and geologists, have all signed a petition questioning the motives and methods of the investigating team. And, if the former president and politicians are on Hillman's side, who should we believe, the scientists or the politicians? Much like the Bosnian pyramids, I am personally still sceptical until I see harder evidence. Of course, I want to believe that Gunung Padang is an ancient pyramidal structure, but at this time, I really don't know, and I don't think any of us should jump to conclusions, even though the headlines for an ancient pyramid are hitting the mainstream media. It is the political involvement that worries me most of all, and when a top Indonesian volcanologist has come out on record against the government to say he can explain the structure naturally, you really have to question everything. In summary, politically backed scientists claim to have discovered a lost ancient pyramid in Indonesia. At the same time, arguably more credible scientists have discovered the neck of an ancient volcano at the same site. So for now, I'll wait until we find out more until I make up my mind on Gunung Padang. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.